know. All right, guys, here we are in the final game of the day. It will be on Koala. And this is Hank's map. Hank, uh, I believe, has two maps in the tournament, actually. We'll have ACCM in the red as the Byzantines to the northeast, currently leading three games to one. And taking a boar. And the person whose boar is being taken is Mr. Yo. It was the Blue Huns. Oh, I was wondering where the second boar was. It's right there. I thought your starting food resources were the same on this map. So, as you can see, the map, it looks like a koala. There's the nose, there are the ears, the eyes. Even in... Yes! Uh, but this map, it's pretty open... There's lots of gold and stone on the outside, but you can also, like, wall to your TC super easily. And it's Spider Koala. I thought the, the relics were supposed to be the eyes. There are six relics on this map. Each player has three very easily accessible. But yeah, I'm not too sure how this one's going to play out just yet. We shall see. Presto. Also, the center is in a little bit of a indent in the map. Anyway, yo luring in one Ibex. And yeah, as far as Byzantines versus Huns go, um... Huns are still going to have the mobility on their side, right? Their strongest units are all cavalry units. Byzantines, though, can get very cost-efficient armies. And that can be enough to grind down uh, Huns. And ACCM will indeed be getting three boars to Mr. Yo's one. So that's a very nice early start for him. And we could, of course, see him going forward. Hun's not a good at Civ at all defensively. You have these forward berries. And you could potentially pin your opponent into their little uh, ear of the koala. Yeah, you can see you do have a really sort of easy wall at the front of your base. Uh, no Ibex being taken by ACCM, but, uh, and Yo's taking all of his, but that pretty much is just because he's missing a boar. Demo. Sekera. So let's see when these guys choose to go up. I mean, everything right now is going to point to this being a pretty aggressive game. Loom now coming in for Yo on 20 pop, as well as for ACCM, so we could be seeing the double 20 pop uptime. Ooh, look at this. Yo, I mean, you can wall over here. Nothing's stopping you. Except wood and the stone mine. Yeah, both zero seconds idle TC time, so really this is just going to be how do these guys choose to open? Huns, they can pretty much do anything. Byzantines, probably going to be opening either Spearman Skirmisher or Straight Archer. Or you could just go full, like, just Spearman, full walls, get your early eco upgrades, and then go into the, like, Skirmishers or Archers later on. It's a possibility. Or you could go forward. This is what I was thinking. People are really liking this again. 
Especially since the towers were buffed. People are just liking their super early forwards with Byzantines, you know, spearmen, skirmishers, all that stuff. Barracks now on the way. And Yo just looks like he's opening scouts. And I'm pretty sure he doesn't have... Oh, he does, I guess. No, it's going to be for an archery... No? Yes? No? Yes? No? Yes? It is going to be for an archery range. No spearmen, just skirmishers. Bidax coming in for ACCM. Not yet for Mr. Yao. And well, going to start whacking away at the walls here. Oh, whoops. That's because I was the one who had to do the predictions. There you go. Uh, horse collar also in for Mr. Yo, and now the tower for ACCM. Now you do start with gold and stone, relatively safe on this map, and Mr. Yo's gonna need to go for his own tower. He's got some skirmishers in here, who right now we're playing the, uh, sorry, the Byzantines game, right? Like this is their ideal game plan. Towers, spearmen, skirmishers, all the savings. Yep. A shot of sons. And in the Tower War, remember Byzantines have that extra HP. Uh, no blacksmith pump upgrades just quite yet. Yeah, you have only five on food right now. That's pretty painful. Okay, there's the blacksmith. And ACCM is still forwarding up. Walled at home. Just needs to be careful of the overforage. Yes, they did. They did that three years ago. Well, yeah, you always gotta be careful. Gonna try and bait with one villager, the arrow fire. Both players doing the same thing. Neither are on stone, actually, so that well, that's still gonna be favoring Byzantines just because they have more HP, but they're just gonna last longer in the tower war. And right now, Mr. Yo is just in a really awkward position. Fletching's about to be in for ACCM. And right now, it's just full-on skirmishers for both players. Abrevindu. Nah, don't. I do the same thing. Uh, another skirm coming in now for Mr. Yo. He's got 10 farms to 8 farms. So I guess he's a little bit ahead of his opponent in, in that way. Also has a bit less idle time by the looks of things. Still no fletching, though. Dave coming in with the raid. Hey, Dave and Dave viewers. What is up? Can't AC... I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, welcome everybody. This is the final game in a Play All 5 show match uh, between ACCM and Mr. Yo. ACCM is leading 3-1. to one, And this is for uh, RMS Cup 2 which is the tournament I am hosting alongside Nova and Siesta. Uh, $20,000 prize pool plus 4,000 for the map contest winners. 
top two spots go to uh, Red Bull in October. So this is uh, pretty much the uh, big upcoming S-tier tournament alongside uh, T90's Titans League. But this tournament, it's focused on uh, community map makers. And so that's why we are really going to be showcasing all of these cool maps. And that is the purpose of these show matches, just to show you guys the new maps and to get people hyped for the tournament. And we've had some pretty good games so far. We've also had the last game. <laughs> just kidding. Oh. Palisades coming in. More skirms for Mr. Yo, but this is pretty awkward still. Deadville for Mr. Yo, and currently the uh, the classic Byzantine Trash Rush. A favorite strategy of players since 1999. Doing work. Market now coming in for ACCM. He's still quite far away from the Castle Age, but yeah, this is just such a strong position. Yo is going for some scouts, uh, but ACCM's actually queued up some more spearmen of his own. Ah, guys, free town watch. Alerting ACCM to the fact that his opponent is going for those scouts. Needs something to help out those skirmishers, which have plus one, plus one, by the way, uh, as do Mr. Yo's. And both players have a villager kill so far, but ACCM's still working with the lead. Economically, ACCM a little bit ahead in terms of resources collected as well, especially when it comes to gold, as Yo has not collected a cent of gold. <laughs> These towers have just been shooting at each other so much. Yo's tower actually has nine kills. Oh, you had a repair. Oh, villagers getting low. Scale barding armor, and Yo probably thinks that the uh, the scouts are a secret. Although he does see the spearmen, so maybe not. Uh, what is the mode if... Uh, I'm not too sure about all the contingencies for Red Bull. As of right now, I am not part of the event. More scouts on the way, so Mr. Yo committing much more fully to this Feudal Age play as ACCM is looking to click up to Castle Age, and actually is going to abandon that watchtower finally. With a farewell salute, watchtower, you have done your job, you have put Mr. Yo on the back foot this whole time, and now it is going to be time to run away for now, as in, like, unless something changes and they invite me. Which would be lovely. Oh, still. Scout Skirm is better than Spearman Skirm because those Spearmen are so easily focused down. And he was actually coming forward with Bills, and it's time for more towers. The Tower Rusher becomes the Tower Rushy. That's a word now. Oh, and is Yo just going to dart in? He does have the plus one defense. Still, ACCM has more Skirmishers. But now we run into the awkward situation where the, well, the archer range is over there. So not any real easy way to reinforce, and you still have a little ways before you chop out to the edge of the map. And ACCM is going to be off stone. Mr. Yo, not terribly far from clicking up to the castle age. And yet the double stable camels are going to be a potential issue. And another one. Although ACCM rushing forward with a bunch of ills to try and finish the tower, is gonna, Yo going to be able to snipe the low HP ones. Okay, yeah, there he is. Clicking up to Castle Age, a couple minutes lower than his opponent. Camels certainly going to be the plan for ACCM from those stables. They're just... Well, actually, you know, you, you could start with Knights. Yeah, actually, I, I would start with Knights just because they're the best against Feudal Age units. There aren't a bunch of Spearmen running around or anything like that. Uh, and can do the most counterattack damage, but probably going to be switching more into camels as we see uh, Yo get to Castle Age. And yeah, indeed it will be for those knights.
probably switching to the camels later on, like I said. Uh, forging, bloodlines, gold mining, all on the way here for Mr. Yo, but he is going to have to run away. Oh, and now what Mr. Yo does is he goes for the 5,000 IQ Tarkin play. He almost has enough stone for a castle. Just kidding, that would be terrible. It would be awesome, but it'd be terrible. Anyway, you have six relics on this map, guys. Three per player. They are the eyes of the koala. So you can just gobble those up super easily. And now Yo is trying to rush up some palisade walls, but that is going to be very difficult when there are all of these knights coming in. Tarkin's counter camels confirmed. Oh yeah, for sure. Yo now with stable number two. Uh, Neo's actually ahead economically, but he just doesn't have one of those army things that I hear are all the rage these days. And that's stable number three. And he does have resources for stum stum stone walls. Happy Castle Age, Mr. Yo. He has resources, guys. Have to have enough of them? Uh, yes. Of course. I mean, yeah, this is going to be a lot of knights. Camel's now queued up, though, for ACCM. He has plus one defense, but no other upgrades. Yo has bloodlines plus one, plus one, so a little bit more. But right now, our red player is incoming. It's soon going to be three knights to... 17 HP! Oh, villager! Be brave, be bold! Oh, and the town center are going to try and get a little bit of extra damage in there. This is pretty close, guys. The scores are not telling the full story. Oh, some more Vill's going to try and come in to repair. Skirm's going to add in whatever damage they can. They remember... Oh, uh, they are only dealing one damage because they don't have Bodkin Arrow. Oh, but I fear for Mr. Yo that the camel numbers are going to swell. Still has several knights alive. Gonna focus down this tower pretty soon. He's gonna try and get a second town center up. That is a brave move. Monk is here. Uh... Yo, still has more knights on the way. Not gonna make it to the tower for town center, unfortunately. Uh, the walls there do come in, but ACCM is going to be able to escape for the time being. Yo, only lost one villager in all that, I think. Yo's not dead yet, guys. Army values are similar. Second TC just now being added in for ACCM. Yeah, remember, you have the faster working Hun stables. Yeah, it's not dead yet, guys. He's not in a good spot, don't get me wrong, but he's not dead. ATCM. <laughs> but here's the issue. What are you going to do when the camels come for you? In they... Dip. Oh, Yo's going to really need to rely on the buildings and whatnot. Oh, arrow fire is really important here. Plus two defense is not quite in just yet for those camels, but another one has been converted and ACCM is forced away. Yeah, yeah Yo does need those monks. Iron casting coming in for Yo. Trying to scoop up that last little relic. Yo also has better eco upgrades than ACCM. And now our red player is forced back. Now taking the TC in uh, on the stone right there. And this is a, quite the nail biter for our last game of the day. Getting close to chopping out are these players. I mean, you can always just walk out of the map. Or out of the center. You can walk out of the map. You can literally walk into the black area. Oh, uh, there are some stone walls over here, but this area is also quite weak. Got Manganel. Uh, 
I like that Yo is able to heal up all of these units, as is ACCM. Yeah, Byzantine healing, man. Their monks know how to heal, but the people who live in their buildings don't, because the one mo monastery tech they miss is uh, <laughs> herbal medicine. And the faster healing monks is why they miss herbal medicine, in case you didn't know. Uh, horse collar just now coming in for ACCM. That was two tons. Sanctity now on the way. I think it's already in for ACCM. Yes, it is. Both players on three TCs, and Yo's still massing those tables. He has enough resources for a castle. I'm surprised he's not getting one just yet. Taking the herbal medicine out of the hospitals and into the field. Nineteen camels to twenty-three knights, guys. The monks are going to be the difference makers. Whoa! It's not shit outside of the monk order. <laughs> oh, one for O Manganel tray, but how useful is a Manganel going to be versus camels? Oh, huge, huge fight, guys. It is Wololo City Castle coming in. Uh, kind of ag aggressive, kind of defensive. Yo has a huge army advantage right now, though. Oh, and now the knights and the converted camels trying to clean up these Byzantine units. Oh, yo, with a big lead right now, able to smash the camels with his cavalry. Oh my goodness, villager count is even. That castle is going to go up for ACCM. What a game. Yeah, iron casting being helpful versus no forging. Or I, I guess it's plus two defense in versus plus one defense. But yeah, you guys get the idea. Oh man. And there is a converted knight. Yo, now ahead by four villagers. And I am liking this map, guys. Koala feels... It's like it's not too aggressive and not too defensive. It feels like there's a lot that's viable. And Yo's now on his way to the Imperial Age. About to chop through. ACCM already chopped through. You bet this game is going imp. And those stone walls are ambitious, to say the least. Yo is not shy on the monks. But they were integral in that victory. At least the victory of the fight. The game is obviously still anyone's. Nine conversions to four in favor of Mr. Yo. Red dots on the outside. They, these are villagers probably looking to drop another town center. Yo doing the same thing. Oh, wait. The villagers over here. Uh, just a house and outpost. <laughs> right next to the enemy outpost. Vodkin are not on the way, and Yo is making the switch into Cav Archers. I mean, ultimately, as the game goes on, you simply cannot just go knights into camels. Oh, monks need to split up their conversions, and this feels like Yo being caught off guard a little bit, but are the conversions going to be sufficient? Knights trying to run by and take down those monks and the camels. Yo has five camels, guys! Oh my goodness! Yo's able to take this fight. I mean, it's like, well, oh, oh, reinforcements are streaming forward. Those Byzantine camels are very cheap. Oh, and now Yo's monks are under serious threat. Pikemen coming in for Mr. Yo. It looks like he just wants to go for Halbs. I mean, they are going to be your purest counter to camels. And remember, ACCM is not on the way to Imperial Age. I thought they were atheists. Yeah, they're, they're converting to atheism. That That's the thing. Oh my goodness, both players are going to be dropping castles here. <laughs> For camels, yeah. Anyway, Halb on the way. Chainmail armor. And we see the archery range reaction, so ACCM knows what, what's up. Whoops, I definitely hit the wrong button. Free town patrol. Oh, and the camels are looking to counterattack. But we do at least have 
Oh, Bot Canera was cancelled. Um, so, I mean, the TC is going to be doing all right here. No, Huns were not atheist. Bosaw finally coming in for a CC7. Is that a Cataphract? Who would think that Cataphracts are uh, a unit you want to be making against Huns? But, I mean, given the situation, your opponent's going full Halbs. Why not? It, it's your strongest unit as Byzantines? Oh, looking for some more conversions is Mr. Yo. His monk control has been excellent so far. Okay, no, it looks like... I think ACCM realizes that... Okay, this castle is simply just going to go down before I can get any good cataphract numbers up. So it's going to be way easier to just switch into ARBs, and I need army. Byzantine skirm spam? Uh, with so many villagers on gold, it would be easier for ACCM to actually switch into Arbalests than Skirmishers. I don't think you need to focus down that house, Mr. Yao. There we go. 117 bills to 116. And I think it's going to be Halb Cavarcher, which Mr. Yo wants to work to eventually. Both players with their three relics. And happy Imperial Age there, Mr. ACCM, who's just now getting his eco upgrades. Bracer on the way. I mean, there's only three camels left for the Halbs to counter, or not counter. Good old heavy plow coming in. And ACCM is kind of being pushed back right now, but the populations are still even. And guys, this one could go quite long. Oh, nice move here from ACCM. Going to be sniping down those monks. And something we have to keep in mind is that, I mean, post in, Byzantines are going to be just one of the very best civs in the game. And Yo is just not working towards any sort of a decent army. He's just going skirmishers right now. <laughs> that was dangerous. An abandoned house? No, a Saracen ambush. Castle coming in, but Yo has way more trebs. And they're even hun trebs, a little bit more accurate. Yeah, those hills are going off of stone. And skirms are on the way, more relevant eco upgrades. Lots of random houses all over the map from ACCM. Big Treb War incoming. Extra HP castles for Byzantines, plus 40% right now is quite handy. Are the Visigoths... The, Vis the Visigoths are Goths. And... I think you mean the Catalonian Fields? And... Because that's one where there was the Visigoths, and yeah, they're Goths. The Alans are Huns, although they were Vikings in uh, AOC. Don't worry, I got you guys for the campaign stuff. Yeah, I mean, we still have Arbs in the back of Yo's base, remember, guys. And, like, Yo has Spearmen and Skirmishers, and that is a pretty unfortunate army composition when you're playing as Huns. Like, you want to be making cavalry, right? Why were the Elans Vikings? I do not know. Remember, no ring archer armor for Huns. And Bombard Cannon's not coming in for Byzantines. Yo has a huge score lead right now as he's been taking quite nice fights, but I really worry for his long-term army composition. You want your Puntos? Well, we shall see. Two-man saw coming in right now for Mr. Yo. Classic Halb Arb counter. 
Yeah, I mean, they're still four trebuchets here, but general rule of thumb, guys, uh, if you don't have a castle in post-imperial age, it's going to really be awkward. Parthian tactics, thumb ring coming in. I mean, Mr. Yo hasn't really been spending that much gold on units. Another beautiful ARB counterattack here from ACCM. Just really trying to be as active as possible all around the map. And now look at this. Yo has twin castles over here. Not that you really need a ton of castles as Huns. Uh, but still. They are going to be going down. Light Cav on the way. Again, continuing to focus on raiding. Oh, the trebuchets are over here. But now Light Cav are joining the party. And unlike Say My Name versus Viper, what feels like a an hour ago, or and several hours ago, because it was. Yeah. Uh, these Light Cav have other armor upgrades. So they're going to be much more effective against the skirmishers. Cav archers, uh, not really in very high number for Mr. Yo. Castle going down. Yo can afford heavy cav archers. 900 food, 500 gold. Okay, some hounds are here to help out. Oh man, what a final game. I was worried that ACCM would just, you know, completely push down Mr. Yo, but it was such a stellar defense from our blue player here. And yet, it is not over yet. Population's pretty much even. Uh, that is the archery range that is researching HCA, but the upgrade is not in just yet, and the HCA, or the not quite HCA, are being outnumbered by the ARBs for the time being. Oh, and Chain Barding Armor now coming in. That camel is derping out like crazy. HCA's in. They are fully upgraded as far as Huns go. And now the production buildings could be getting sniped. Uh, and some skirms are also here joining the party. Yo trying to dance around with the cav archers, probably to snipe those bombard cannons. <laughs> Random camel showing up. Yeah, ACCM has a ton of gold. He has map control. Like I said, he's been really aggressive at just getting all over the map. But Mr. Yo has this like random hit squad of 13 skirmishers, 3 halberdiers, and 4 trebuchets. <laughs> That's a campaign army right there. You don't normally see campaign armies in the Imperial Age, but uh, Yo making it happen. Uh, he can't afford plus four defense for his light cav. Super important for him there. And now another defensive castle incoming. I mean, the castle situation is quite low for both players. Fortified wall coming in right now. Oh my goodness. Oh, arms need to be careful. Bombard Cannon's trying to get some good hits in. That castle does manage to go up. The Trebs can cut through, remember. Oh, and some HCA are joining the party. And ACCM's population isn't looking so pretty right now. Both players losing a lot of villagers, as both have around 50 killed this game. Heavy Camel now coming in for red. Oh, and look at this. Skirmishers over here. Able to take down some remaining ARBs. I know, like, isn't this a, a great map? You guys better be excited for RMS Cup 2. I think the, the maps are having a really great showing today. It's like, it was so closed early on, but it's opened up so much in the late game. It's just like there's stuff happening everywhere. Trebs all over the place. Plus four defense in for the Cav Archers. And, oh, loses the relics, though, does Mr. Yo. Oh, but the Cav Archers from the back. Sniping all of the Bombard Cannons. Heavy Camels are now coming in for ACCM. But he's losing the Trebs. Mr. Yo does not want to, you know, go down one to four. Still fighting for this win. Oh, and look at this. ACCM's able to snipe those Trebs of Mr. Yo. And right now, Mr. Yo does have a pretty nice advantage. ACCM with more villagers. But Mr. Yo, now with the tables turning, has the stronger army. He's gotten those upgrades in that he's needed. Uh, is actually way behind in terms of gold collected, but has been taking pretty efficient trades. I mean, he's only gotten this Cav Archer mass going 
in the Imperial Age. Was not focused on it earlier. It just snowballed from Feudal Age. That's what we generally tried to avoid. Uh, there are some pretty aggressive maps in there. Like, you know, Fractal is super aggressive, but even then, it can uh, play more defensively as the game goes on. Um, low Tide, very aggressive map. I mean, like, there, there are aggressive maps in there. Uh, but this one is was intended to be a more balanced land map where it can go aggressive or it can go late. At least that was the intention in picking the map to, you know, have a diverse map pool. Anyway, Yo trying to go with some more villager kills over here. Another huge raid coming in, and this is Mr. Yo finally able to use his mobility that he has with uh, Huns over Byzantines. And also, the map is adorable. I mean, it's literally a koala. Oh my goodness, but the camels are coming in! And Yo's losing a lot of villagers, guys. The population is still even. Capram about to come in for Mr. Yo. Yo, the TC way off on Neptune. <laughs> There's still gold to mine, by the way. It's not like the map is going to be running out of gold yet. ACCM has recovered two of his relics. Yo has recovered all three. Both players have lost all the relics at some point. So different... Oh, yeah, I mean... I don't know if we'll continue to see that as the tournament progresses and metas get more figured out, but at least for the time being, the maps are working in such a way that it's not super obvious what the correct thing is to like go for. And that's what we really want, right? The longer it takes to figure out a meta, the more chance we have to see, well, just different things, right? Oh... Yeah, I mean, like, there's just stuff happening all over the place right now. Villager counts dropped a lot. I mean, both players are at 114-ish population. I mean, both have just raided each other massively. We're at over 100 villager kills per player, almost. Wait, how does ACCM have... Oh, okay, never mind. I, th I thought they had more deaths than... Or more kills than deaths. Hey, ACCM does not have any gold access any longer. But uh, guess what? He's Byzantines. Who cares about gold? When it was literally one screen announced action all over the map. Yeah, really. Guys, uh, if you really enjoy this map, thank Hank because he is the designer of it. More ranged units coming in, and ACCM is back on gold. There's still more to take. The good thing Byzantines don't need bills. Yeah. If you try, uh, if you have like a ram that's garrisoned with four units, it will take up five uh, transport space in the transport. Yeah. Oh. Yo has that huge mass of uh, cav archers, which is really scary, and his army value is way ahead of that of his opponents. And, oh man, ACCM is just losing units left and right. Oh, but the thing is, with Byzantines, you don't necessarily need army value, but Mr. Yo has so many cav archers, 53 cav archers right now. ACCM is just out of resources. I mean, both players are kind of out of resources, but Mr. Yo now creeping ahead in the KD. And his army just has that survivability. We were worried earlier that Yo didn't have uh, quite enough like long-term planning with his army composition, but able to just hang in there long enough to finally get to his Cav Archer plus whatever army composition. You can quote me on that one. What's the uh, the ideal Hun army composition in post-Imperial Age? Cav Archers plus whatever. 
Oh man, it's like neither player can really afford to replace their army, but Yo is just not losing units because cat archers are good. Who would have thought? Camel's trying to do a little bit of raiding, but the TC arrow fire will do a number on them. Huns are Huns indeed. Huge, massive units entering this farmland of ACCM. This bucolic paradise is no longer. Yeah, we got TCs in the corners of the map, guys. But right now, Mr. Yo is climbing back up to maximum population. Like, I wish I could uh, see, like, what's the KD just in, like, the last four minutes of game time. But it has to be, like, astronomically in favor of Mr. Yo. Double uni? That was part of a wall earlier. Oh, my goodness. I am thinking that Yo going to be taking this game number five in this five-game set. Attacking some Byzantine village? Oh, yeah. Still a little bit more gold to mine. I mean, yeah, ACCM just completely dropped off the planet in terms of population. His key was still quite large. But, unfortunately, he's just not going to be able to get to the army composition that he needs. And the... Imperial Age, you know, mobility is just always going to be in favor of Huns, even though cost efficiency is in favor of Byzantines, but you still need to have that huge army mass that's, like, pushing Huns in a, cer a central location, kind of like what we saw earlier, like when he had the Bombard Cannons and the Trebuchets, and Yo looked like he was on the ropes, but Yo was, like, just able to hang in there. And once the game became super spread out, then it became a lot harder for ACCM to find damage. He was doing an okay job with it early on, you know, going this way and that with his uh, little Arbalest hit squads. But ultimately, Yo, with the Cav Archers, able to uh, make it happen. This could be the final fight for ACCM. I mean, the Camels are getting good trades. I mean... Oh, the Cav Archers are so slippery. I, yeah, if... What, uh, camels are faster than Cav Archers, remember. Oh, uh, yeah, but Yo has a decent enough bank. Hussar upgrade now incoming. And, yeah, I think that this should still be fine for Mr. Yo, he said with increasing hesitancy. <laughs> Hussar's in, but, I mean, the camels can kill the Hussars and the Skirms can kill the Cav Archers. It's all about how you're able to take that fight. But there we go, Halb's attacking camels. That is exactly what you want. And ACCM does call the GG. He simply lost too many villagers at this point. But wow, what a great one to end this series, guys. Yeah, double the economy. GG, well played, Mr. Yo. Beautiful defense. Far more resources collected, not of gold, but of everything else. In the end, those conversions, 100% saving him in the mid-game. KD in the end was only 10% better, but... It's like the units that came out when they did Army High 93 to 65. Able to get to Imperial Age ahead of Byzantines is always uh, feels good, man. And both with exactly 61 APM. Yeah. Yeah, Yo and ACCM have been playing a lot of very back and forth sets recently. And, you know, still congrats to ACCM. He still won three of the five games. So he is like the winner of the, you know, show match. Technically.